Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you're all well and enjoying the weather turning to maybe a little bit of spring, maybe, if we're lucky. Something arrived today, it's the Sully Box. Here it is, I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to it very much. For those of you who don't know what the Sully Box is, I'm gonna read it from the website because I can't remember the exact words. It is a box subscription service providing vegan, plastic-free and sustainable living products from ethical UK businesses. There is an eco box, which is £13.99 a month. There is an extra eco box, which is £16.99 per month. And there is a save the planet box, which is £22.99 per month, which is the one that I subscribe to. And it should have six to seven premium sustainable living products ranging from homeware, kitchen, bathroom and self-care products. And it says it's an eco warriors ultimate earth box. So without further ado, let's get it open. My first thoughts, it's very light this month, which is slightly worrying <laughs> because you kind of think either they've forgotten to put stuff in or I'm flummoxed, really, completely flummoxed. Six to seven products and it's as light as a feather. Anyway, let's get it open and see what's inside. Can't wait. I'm going to dinner with my next door neighbours tonight, so I'm in a bit of a rush to get this done. But I really wanted to get it done before I went over because I got inside. So here it is. Hmm. Why is it so light? Let's open it up and find out. I'm going to open it, I'm going to show you and then I'm going to put it to one side and I'm just going to pick stuff out. So there it is. Can you see anything? Ah, they've got this stuff in now. They told me about this. This is um, these plastic bits, it used to be straw. Scratch that, they're not plastic bits. <laughs> they're not plastic bits. They're biodegradable. Um, I think it's kind of some kind of cornstarch or something weird, but it's not plastic. So it's all biodegradable, so that's fine. I did like the straw, but I think people complained because it was quite messy. I liked it. Right, I'm going in. I'm going in, I'm gonna take some of this. First thing I'm pulling out is ooh, this grow your own veg. Hmm, we don't have a garden. Uh, courgette, cucumber, pumpkin, and pea, easy to grow, water absorbing, plantable pods. Less sowing, more growing. Look at that. That's cool. For best results, Plant in a medium-sized plant pot with good drainage and use good quality compost. Water the compost well to begin with. Push the cell down into the compost until it is submerged halfway. The cell will absorb as much moisture from the compost as needed. Keep the compost moist. Do not over water. Place your plant pot near a window to allow for plenty of light. Water again once seedlings appear. For more growing tips and information, please visit www.seedcell.co.uk. Oh, well, this is nice. This is very nice, but I don't have a garden. Is that a problem? <laughs> it might be a bit of a problem, but my parents have a garden. I wonder if my mum would be interested in this. I bet she would. Anyway, that's the first item. Item number two, going in. Oh, oh. Now look. This is just typical. I've got all of these. <laughs> but they're cool because you can you always need more. You always need more. Look, I've got a bamboo spoon, fork and knife and it says plastic phobia on it, which I kind of like. That is cool. Mine don't say plastic phobia. I like them. Actually, you always need more than one set anyway, because you, you can keep one in a bag and then forget about them. And you've always got them. Right. Number three. Going in. What's this? Cutlery pouch. Got one of them as well. <laughs> but I haven't got two. Now I've got two. So I can put my cutlery in my cutlery pouch and keep it with me at all times. Very good. Very good, thank you. So that's three. Should get at least three more, hopefully. Four. Because I'm greedy. What's this? Oh, cool. Oregani Everyday Organics patches. I think they're plasters. Yes, plasters. 
that's good I haven't got them but I was looking at them the other day this exact make in fact in uh, our local refill shop I was looking at these and then I was thinking don't buy them don't buy them because you never know they might be in the box and they are so here we go plasters can't really see those can you but the plasters are these Biodegradable? I don't know. I don't know. But there's no plastic in them and it's cotton, so I'm assuming that they break down. I'm assuming plastics. What's this bag of some sort, is it? No, I think this is a little jam jar lid, is it? I have a small head very small head but even that is not going to fit me for a shower cup so I'm assuming it's a jam jar lid or a jar lid or something like that it's kind of cute it's cotton Next. this little bottle oh what is this oh a natural face mask oh how cute is that look it's like in a little little apothecary bottle cute it's glass with a cork what does it say clay with vitamin c normal sensitive and dry redness skin okay give that a go it doesn't sort of give you any instructions the instructions will be on the the email they send you sully box sends you an email with um all the all the details about what's in the box to avoid extra paper waste That's it. Ooh, boo. Yeah, that's it. Oh look. Oh I didn't see that. It's my birthday month. Look, it says happy birthday, Claire. How lovely is that? That's so cute. Mm. Thank you, Sunny Box. So what did we get? Two, three, four, five, six. So I got my seeds, I got my jam topper, we think it's a jam topper. I got my plastic phobia bamboo knife, fork and spoon. I got my little pouch to put them in. I got my eco plasters and I got a little face mask. Just looking up the email for you and me. This is what it says about these. It says they are organic bamboo plasters. I'm going to have to make this bigger. There we go. Organic cotton plasters, a plastic free alternative to an item in everyone's bathroom cabinet. These organic cotton plasters allow the skin to breathe while the wound is healing and most importantly, not at the expense of the planet. All the materials in these plasters are certified by global organic textile standards and are dermato dermatologically tested. So that's good. Next, we have the bamboo cutlery. Disposable plastic cutlery is used once but lasts in the environment for hundreds of years. Where is the sense in that? This bamboo cutlery set is designed to be lightweight and reusable so that you can avoid ever needing disposable cutlery again. The bamboo is grown organically using water only and the set is even compostable if you decide you no longer need it. Then we have, it's a reusable bowl cover. That's what it is. The Stockwell stitcher, Emma, the creator of these beautiful cherry bowl covers, learnt to sew while suffering from acute anxiety. Sewing allowed Emma to get out of her head and she enjoys, and she enjoys the process of creating artistic products. We admire Emma's mission to produce useful products instead of pretty things stuffed in a drawer. And these bowl covers are inspired by the global plastic crisis. Don't be fooled by the size, they really do stretch. £4.75 for that. Natural face mask. Marzi Naturals face mask, Marta, began making her homemade cosmetics when she realised the power of herbs. After the birth of her baby, Martha sought to create only the most natural and healing products worthy of touching her child's skin. Furthermore, Martha describes herself as a defender of bees, without whom nobody would be able to enjoy the benefits of nature. She adds, the environment is the heart of my products, so I try to make my products as ecological as possible. Repurchase for £6.20. Gosh. Well, it doesn't say how to use it, but... I guess if I go to the website, it will tell me. You probably just mix it with water and slap it on your face. That's what I'm thinking. 
These stylish handmade cutlery pouches are made from fabric scraps and fastened with a metal press stud. They're designed to reduce the need to plastic cutlery and make it easier for you to take your own with you. They also make the perfect travel companion for your toothbrush. Repurchase $8.99. Vegetable seeds. Seeds sell vegetable seeds. As enthusiastic gardeners, we understand the amazing benefits to both your mental health and the planet that planting your own food can bring. However, gardening can be challenging and many people simply do not have the time or patience to follow it through. Spring is a time of birth and growth, therefore your box this month contains a vegetable seed pack. Seed Cell makes gardening easy whilst using all biodegradable and natural materials to benefit both you and the earth. And that's £5.99. So it says the box comes to £40.40 40 pence this month. So I paid £22.99, that's inclusive of posting and packaging. And it came to £40.40, and 40 pence, which I think is pretty good value for money. So, here it is. Seed pods, cutlery pouch, bowl cover, bamboo cutlery, my eco plasters, and my strange face mask. So that's what I got in my box. £22.99, what do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it wasn't worth it? I think I'm not so sure this month. Some of the prices seemed quite inflated, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to keep going for it for a while, see what else we get. This one didn't excite me as much as the others, but we shall see what next month brings. And all of these things I will use. I'm not sure about the veg, only because I don't have a garden, but I could definitely start them off and try not to kill them. Happy with the plasters. I will give the face mask a go. I've already got the bamboo cutlery. It's kind of like your beginner's starter piece, isn't it? Bamboo cutlery. That's quite handy as well. Uh, although I have beeswax wraps, but yep, yeah, that's quite handy. Not my favorite print, but that's fine. So yeah, there you go. I think overall, I'm still enjoying the box. I'm gonna keep going and see what else brings, see what the next couple of months brings and then make a decision. Or maybe even just go down to a few less products. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, that's it. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts because I'm really interested. And thank you very much for watching and speak soon. What do you think about these? Hmm? Hmm? I went to the opticians and she said I needed reading glasses. But she was very kind and she said, to be honest, you could probably get away with the ones in the shops that are plus one. So I bought some plus ones and uh, I think they're all right. I think they'll do to start with. See how we go.